few minutes I'm going to introduce you to an extremely powerful yet incredibly simple letter that when you send this letter to the credit bureaus it forces the bureaus to remove derogatory information from your credit report whether that information is correct or not it forces them to remove it bankruptcies removed foreclosures charge-offs collection accounts lates the credit bureaus remove it with this simple letter and you can do it in as little as 20 days and I know you don't believe me but in a moment I'm going to show you actual proof of exactly what happened using this this credit letter it's so simple and the best part is you can do it yourself if you can type a letter and go to the post office and mail it you can clean your your own credit you don't have to pay anyone any money to clean your credit and you You can do it yourself, and this is the way to clean credit today. If you're sitting there with bad credit, don't feel bad. Everybody today has bad credit, but most people don't know what to do. They don't even want to look at their credit report because they're just so embarrassed. They know it's a mess, so they just kind of give up, and they figure, I'll just wait seven years until everything drops off. But until all that bad stuff drops off, you almost live like a second-class citizen. I know I did. I always felt kind of like subpar. You know, I was always afraid, is someone going to pull my credit? I didn't want anyone to look at my credit. I didn't want anyone to know, you know some of the things that were on there I was really embarrassed and it held me back it held me back in business I couldn't get credit lines I couldn't expand business I couldn't get loans on a personal level you can't get a mortgage you know you can't rent a car even you can't rent an apartment you can't get credit cards you can't get utilities turned on and some employers won't even hire you with bad credit so you can't even function today unless you have good credit so if you're that type of person and you've pretty much tried everything and nothing has worked watch this video I'm going to show you today how you can get a letter that actually works. I look, searched long and hard on how to find a way to clean my own credit. I got so frustrated paying people, I just figured I'm going to do it myself. The only way it's going to be done right is if I do it myself. I found this letter. I have to tell you, when I found it, I didn't believe it would work, but I figured, what do I have to lose? I'll try it. I tried it, and it worked. I cleaned all three of my bureaus. I've cleaned my family, friends, uh, credit. I don't clean credit, but I did it for friends and family. And the woman that I'm going to show you today, this is real proof, this was a family friend, and she was kind enough to allow me to use the results of her credit, what happened with her, to show you and prove to you exactly the power of what this credit letter can do for you. So let's get right into it. Here on the first slide, Postal Service, I want to show you that we actually sent a dispute letter, certified mail, and this is a real receipt. I have this receipt. It was sent on January 26, 2010. You see here it was sent to TransUnion, and here's the tracking number of the certified certified mail letter. You can go to USPS.com, you can put this number in and you're going to see it was a real letter that was delivered. And if you don't want to do that, I already did it for you. Here it is, USPS.com, here's the tracking number, it shows you it was a first class certified mail letter, it was delivered on January 29, 2010 to TransUnion, Pennsylvania. Okay, this letter was delivered. Remember that, January 29, 2010. Here is the letter that we received back from TransUnion. I scanned it, I just wanted you to see that it's a real letter. and let me zoom in on the postage here. It shows you February 19, 2010. Okay, TransUnion received the letter on the 29th of January. On the 19th, they sent a reply with the investigation results. Okay, let's take a look at what was in that letter. Here's your standard cover from TransUnion. If you've ever disputed anything on your credit, you see they have a standard cover sheet. Up here, you can see February 18, 2010. TransUnion. The letter was dated the 18th. It was mailed the 19th. Here's the return address from TransUnion. We blacked out the information from the person for privacy purposes. And this is the letter. And here are the investigation results. Here you go. Here's right here all the creditors. These are the account numbers that are blacked out for privacy purposes. And here are the results. Let's take a look at this. Deleted, 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 deleted. 12 out of 14 items deleted. This new information right here. items that didn't come off but that's okay because in round two we attack it again and we're going to get those two items off but on the very first letter the very first letter using the clean credit letter sent to TransUnion 12 out of 14 items were deleted how many times have you sent letters to the bureaus only to have them say verified it's so frustrating and these are not little accounts this is Citibank Bank of America big credit cards collection accounts uh, Capital One and they're not old accounts within the last year some of these so I'm going to show you the report that we pulled to prove that to you 
here's the TransUnion report that we pulled before we sent the dispute letter. And if you look up here, January 19th, 2010 was the date we pulled the TransUnion report. If you look down here, the adverse accounts right here. Okay, Bank of America, we blacked out the account number for privacy. This account was deleted. It was a credit card. It was charged off. S balance was $7,245 from April of 2009. Not that old. Deleted from the report. Okay, let's look at the next page. Here you go. Capital One credit card. I'm just going to move quickly through this. Uh, balance of $1,140. It was charge off from 2009. Deleted. Another Capital One credit card. $2,169 from January 29th. Deleted. Another Capital One credit card. $2,630 from January 2009. Deleted. Here's a collection account. Deleted. Here's a Citgo gasoline card. $1,253 from February of 2009. Charged off as bad debt. Deleted from the report. And look at this. Citibank. Now this is huge. Look at this, Citibank credit card. Let me show you the balance on this card. Okay, Citibank credit card. The balance, $15,955. The account was closed in March of 2008. It was charged off as bad debt. Deleted from the report. Fifth, almost a $16,000 credit card deleted. And it wasn't a really old account. It's just from uh, the last year or so. Here's City Financial, $2,248 a charge off, deleted from the account. Another small collection account, deleted. Another collection account, deleted. Now here's the first item that was not removed right here. But that's okay. Round two, we're going to attack that and get that removed. Let's move on to the next page. Here's another collection account that was deleted, another collection account deleted, and here's the last item, the second item that was not removed. That's okay. In round two, we're going to attack that and get that uh, removed. Okay, so if you add the, the, the time frame here, well, it was delivered on January 29th, and, and the letter back from TransUnion was February 18th, dated the 19th. If you add that up, it's 20 days. Inside of 20 days, 12 out of 14 derogatory items were deleted using... But I found one little phrase in there, and I thought, man, if this phrase is true, which it seems to be because it's in the Fair Credit Reporting Act, then this might be a way for me to get out of this. Actually, come to think of it, the phrase was in the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, and I'll just actually grab it and bring it over here, because I just noticed a recent case where someone won I mean, this thing is still working to this day, 17 years later, or actually 19 years later, um, people are still winning cases because of the simple loophole. And um, here, the court affirmed there was a violation where the debt collector failed to mark the account as disputed. So here's the, the law that I, I figured out, and got this, this simple law right here got every negative credit mark removed from my credit report. It was like 12 or 13 collection accounts. So if someone's trying to collect a debt on you, um, they have to say certain things and, and reply within certain time frames and all that sort of stuff. So typically, if you dispute something, they have 30 days to, to review it and, and say if it's legit or not, and they have to report to the uh, to the uh, credit bureaus that it's legit or it's not and if they don't reply within that 30 days then technically they have to remove the item but they they've gotten pretty good at doing that they, they just say yep it's real or they just have some, you know they don't even it's just a computer that does it it's, it's ridiculous but I won't go into all that but the main thing to know is once they do that even if they say yes that's his account and they confirm it they think they're done at that point for some reason and I don't know why um, they always forget this part, failing to communicate that a disputed debt is disputed. Now what that means is on your credit report, if there's a collection account from AT&T, let's say, or some somebody, they sold the uh, AT&T account to a debt collector, and that debt collector reports that you have a charge off or unpaid debt or whatever it is that's bad, uh, and you dispute it, let's say they go and say, yep, this is theirs. Here's the proof. We have some kind of signed thing or whatever it is. So it's there. So this dispute has been reviewed and it has no merit.
they can say that, right? And they can send something to the credit bureau that says, nope, this is theirs, so that's it. It stays. But the problem with that is, is they are required by law to not only do that, but they have to put a notation on your credit report that says this debt has been disputed. Whether it's real, it's yours, it's not yours, if you disputed it, they have to put the notation that it's been disputed. And in my experience, over 90% of the time, they do not put that and it's been disputed. And in my experience, over 90% of the time, they do not put that. And that's, that's the loophole. That's where you got them. Once, you, when, once they did that, it's up to $1,000 for that violation. So at that point, you can, uh, you, know, you can take them to small claims court. It costs you like 50 bucks or whatever. They're not going to be too happy about that. They might just remove it just based on you filing a lawsuit against them. But I actually went to court, and I'll go into that later, against 12 or 13 of my debt collectors. And uh, I went, and this is exactly the thing that I referenced, and I won all of my cases because I wasn't there to say, Your Honor, this debt's not mine, blah, blah, blah. The other side was like, this debt's his. I was like, I'm not here to dispute that. That's for another day. I'm here just to say that you didn't put on my credit report that this debt was disputed. For only $97. That's it. Complete. You get the instructions. You get the exact letter that we used. You can use this letter as many times as you like to clean all three bureaus, and you can do it yourself. That's the best part. You don't have to rely on anyone else. And to order now, just click on the link below. It'll take you to a checkout. You check out. It's going to redirect you to a website where you can download the instructions and the letter instantly. You are seconds away from getting this information and changing your life. You can have your letters typed up today and mailed out to the bureaus in as little as 20 to 30 days you can start seeing results and you're on your way to having a clean credit profile that you did yourself and an entirely new world with having excellent credit so i thank you so much for tuning in go ahead and click on the link now i wish you all the best of success and good luck